We've got another video just for us Mac dorks. Check it out. This is Ham Clock and it is running directly on my Mac and it could not be any easier to set up. Check it out this time on Ham Radio Tube. So check this out. I found this on MacHamRadio.com. Introducing Ham Clock Launcher, an easy Mac OS GUI launcher for Ham Clock. Hubert, Kilo Fox Zero, Victor Whiskey Delta has released Ham Clock Launcher. Thank you, Hubert. You are truly a gentleman's gentleman. And guys, do me a favor. If you're a Mac user and you end up downloading this in the comments, just write, thank you, Hubert. That's all I ask. So it goes on to say, a Mac OS desktop app that makes it simple to run and monitor the Ham Clock web application on a Mac. It is distributed as a self-contained dot app with everything included, the Ham Clock web binaries and all required libraries, no developer tools, Mac ports, X quartz, or other prerequisites are needed. To download and install it, we're going to go to this website. I'll, I'll leave links for these in the description, but let's do this hubertthickman.github.io slash hamclocklauncher. We're going to go over there, which I've already got over there. And this will work with Apple Silicon. I'm on an M1 MacBook Pro, or you can use it for Intel Macs as well. We're going to download for the Apple Silicon or whichever uh, processor you have. That's it. We're downloaded. Now we go to our finders, go to our download, open her up. We're going to take this ham clock launcher guy right here, and we're just going to we're just going to drag her in, if I can move there, to our applications folder. Just like that. We're going to open her up. We'll get this little thing popping up say, "Hey, you know, security stuff, just hit open." And this is what we get. So we can choose from four different resolutions here. I'm just going to choose the highest one, hit start ham clock, and hit open in browser. It's going to open up Safari. And this first page, if you want to enter setup, we'll just go ahead and click in there. This is where you're going to type in your uh, call sign. You can put in your lat long. I find it's easier to just put in your grid square there. You can go through. Uh, the other pages, if you want to set up other stuff, I don't. That's really all you need is your call sign and your grid square. And we can hit done. Then we're going to go through this page here, which I'll probably have to blur out some of this, but uh, it's just doing stuff. I don't know what, but when it's done, we now have ham clock running right in Safari, right on our Mac. We can open this up. Uh, right click the tab, hit move to new window. If you got a second monitor, you can throw it on your second monitor there. Totally customizable here. So just to show you, you can click on the background here, change the color of whatever your uh, background for your call sign is there. It is full fledged ham clock. We can click on here. We can change all these different things. So in this window, I like to have on the air contest D expeditions and that'll cycle through. So here we can see who's on the air right now. Over here, I like to have kind of the moon planetary K solar flux sunspot numbers going on over there. And then on this one, I have the NOAA space weather and the SDO is the actual like image of the sun. And then over here, we have uh, uh, NCDXF and space weather. We've got our local time here. We've got our UTC time here, the date, grid. And then over here, we can change. I like to keep this on ISS. Uh, which is right here. Hit OK. So this will show the ISS passes going on. Here's where the ISS is right now. We can change if we click on Aurora here. We can change all kinds of stuff. So uh, pertaining to how the map looks. Now you do have to have something selected. So like you can't deselect terrain. You'd have to hit countries and then deselect terrain. You always have to have something going on. So you can change the way the map looks. You can have several things going on. So it'll just kind of cycle through all of this stuff. And you'll get different. See, there's the Aurora right now. It is exactly ham clock. You can change the way the map is. So this is Mercator. Let's go to Azimuthal. That's what that looks like. You can change it to Azim 1. So there's that. It's not interactive though. You can't like move the move the world around like you can on Google Maps or the Robinson display. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. So yeah, very, very cool. Ham clock running right on a Mac. 
Thank you very much, Hubert, and thank you for watching another episode of Ham Radio 2. We'll see you next time, 73.